we're asked to determine the derivative function of each given function. First we have g of x equals four square root x minus sine x. To begin, we need to write the square root of x using a rational exponent. And for a square root, the index is two, and the exponent on x is one. The square root of x is equal to x to the one half. So g of x is equal to four x to the power of one half minus sine x. Now that we have the square root of x written as x to the power of one half, we can find the derivative using the power rule of differentiation. So g prime of x is equal to the derivative of four x to the power of one half minus sine x with respect to x, which is equal to the derivative of four x to the power of one half, which is equal to four times one half times x to the power of one half minus one minus the derivative of sine x with respect to x, which is equal to cosine x. Now let's go ahead and simplify. We have g prime of x is equal to, well four times one half is equal to two, giving us two times x to the power of one half minus one is negative one half. And then we have minus cosine x. So while this is the derivative function, it's more common to express the derivative using positive exponents. So if we think of two x to the power of negative one half as a fraction with the denominator of one, we can move x to the power of negative one half down to the denominator, which will change the sign of the exponent. So we can express the derivative as g prime of x equals two divided by x to the power of positive one half minus cosine x. Another common way to express the derivative would be to write x to the power of one half back in radical form. X to the power of one half is equal to the square root of x. So we can also write the derivative function as g prime of x equals two divided by the square root of x minus cosine x. Next we have f of x equals negative five x to the power of negative three minus cosine x. So f prime of x is equal to the derivative of negative five x to the power of negative three with respect to x, which is negative five times negative three x to the power of negative three minus one minus the derivative of cosine x with respect to x, which is negative sine x. And now to simplify, we have f prime of x is equal to positive 15 x to the power of negative four, and then minus negative sine x simplifies to plus sine x. So again, this is the derivative function, but let's go ahead and express the derivative using positive exponents. So we'll move x to the power of negative four down to the denominator, which will change the sign of the exponent. We have f prime of x is equal to 15 divided by x to the fourth plus sine x. I hope you found this helpful.